that doesn't make sense why is there one odd uranium and this is why welcome everybody this is episode 10 should be episode number 10 oh dear i can't oh there we go i was about to say i can't seem i think i'm one shy there should be one more uranium here that's buried that i can't see Hmm. unclear supposedly there's one more uranium here that i'm missing but i don't see it oh well it's okay if we lose an odd uranium it's not as bad hey falling down all these lovely resources from the sky let's see what we get here Ooh, hello And we're full. And there's at least one, two more over here that I can see. And then we have discovered that we can technically have stuff call down really, really far on that side too, which is obnoxious, but we'll take it. To be fair though, if I move this pad any further that way, I think it would become more of an issue. Food, water. Okay. Oh, I need water. That should be enough for our... Ooh, Shia Super. There we go. Oh, also, um, take that off for now. All right, this is our third Tier 2 nuclear reactor. There we go. Lots of power. Come on. So we should be sitting around like three, 400 power, something like that. Yeah, 330. Cool. All right, we got to keep getting our uranium. We bought it. We might as well pay. We, or we paid for it. We might as well get it. Nope, nothing there. Anything on top of this? I love how you cannot fall through the holes in this. Hilarious. Oh, I forgot about this. Grab that. Ah, here we are. Yeah, see, there's some there. There's some there, and then there's some here, it looks. So at least... Oh, this is two. There were two different meteors that hit right here. Because you only get five uranium per meteor. See? One, two, three, four, and five. So we should have about... Yeah, we should say we should have 15 here on the bottom half, because that's how many we have collected... That's three meteors worth is 15. So here's at least two. Because we got one, two, three, four, five. That's one meteor. And then another five. One, two, whoop. One, two, three, four, and five. That's another meteor. All right. So we got at least most of one more meteor there. And then I need to head that way over the dunes and down into the thingy over there to see if there's any more that I missed. The other thing that's going to be annoying is Potentially, once this fills with water, this could get filled with uranium as well. So we'll have to watch out for those. Okay. Okay, we're going to go for... Oh, just kidding. I was going to immediately throw down another power, but I'm out of iridium. Yeah, I'm out of iridium, so I don't have what I need. Titanium, silicon... Mag? No. Iron. Cobalt. And then seeds. We have seed and seed and uranium. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so we sent out two rockets and we're going to have two and a half rounds of uranium to bring home, which is lovely. Wow. The, the orange out here is so vibrant this late at night. It's like blinding. One, two, three, four. All right, now, did we have any other strays that landed out here that we don't see currently? Um, no, not that way. Oh, I'm so glad that I haven't seen any land down in this ravine right here. That'd be so annoying. 
Just have the odd meteor be sitting in the bottom of that wreck. Okay. Any more? So far, it looks like we're clean, which is good. Which is good. Yeah, I don't see anything else out here. Cool. Well, if that's everything, I can go hunt for more osmium. I can also throw down a handful more of the other bits. Oh, let's visit the our one and only miner, our one and only extractor. The tier one going for aluminum. Hey, we got a decent amount of aluminum from that. Heck yeah. Because, yeah, in theory, we could have a speckling of uranium along this edge here. But so far, I have not seen any, which is good. If we can keep them all in the in the basin or the um, plateau basin. I don't know the characterization for where the ring is at. I don't know. Any strays out here this time? Not so far. On occasion, we'll catch a stray out here when we'll launch a rocket. We'll have like one thing of uranium like right here or up on that ridge. That's the bad one. When you end up with uranium that's like tucked away up here, it's like oof. Oh, yeah, see, there's one right there. There's one stray. Any over here? No. But yeah, see, we had one stray out here. And this one. Two strays. Wow, two strays. Holy cow. I was doing the math in my head, and I'm like, that's more than one. <laughs> Congratulations, you can count to two. <laughs> oh, also, we're very low on oxygen. I think this time I had vi vitals deplete by 90% instead of 100. And then I have terraforming goes by 80% instead of 100. That way it's a little bit slower. Not a ton slower, but a little bit slower. But then in, in reference, I gave myself all of the big technologies for free. So that way, as soon as I get the resources for them, I can immediately start doing them. That way I'm not locked behind resources okay. more aluminum cobalt oh, we're full on cobalt again iron mag silicon titanium how are we doing we're doing good okay we need we have an oxygen multiplier does the basic one i don't even think we have the basic one yet no we don't when do we get the basic one? The basic one is two machines over. We are a quarter of the way there. Or a third of the way there. Oxygen, we're very far from tier four heaters. Um, we're getting there. That's heat. Um, we could get heat going faster somewhat. Algae, we're almost up to tier two algae, though. That's really good. Oh, that's a good question. How does tier two algae do for plants? 0. 0.64 versus seven. Okay, so it's not as good as the flower spreader. But oxygen, we get 100. So it's comparable on the oxygen side. Okay. Oh, fertilizer. What does it take for fertilizer? Algae and sulfur. Um, sulfur, we have two. Oof, I might have to throw down a sulfur drill, a sulfur extractor soon. Oh no, are you not done? Oh no, they're not ready yet. And it only grew me two. Oh no, it's so bad. Oh no. Oh, what are we supposed to do with that? Oh gosh. All right, so at this point, we need to um, expand on infrastructure, I think. How many drills do we have? We have 11 tier three drills currently. need one more titanium 
One more titanium and we'll throw down an extra five tier three drills. Oh dear. Lots of mag. A little bit of cobalt. Lots of mag. Oh, there's titanium. One more row. Um, oof, let's not bring home cobalt. The cobalt's full. Let's bring home, bat, home mag. If we're going to bring something home, let's bring home mag. We have a lot of that out here. We have space for it. Oh, inventory full. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so we're going to drop down five more of the tier three drills. That'll put us up to 16. And then hopefully we have enough there to get going here. I can't see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Cool. Hopefully that'll be enough to get pressure going again. The MTI is slowly climbing. All right. I need water. A little bit of food. Okay. I grabbed a bunch of magnesium. I have one titanium to my name. And cobalt is full. Okay. Um, What can we do at this stage of the game to advance? We need... Okay, so we have a little more pressure coming in. Pressure is trickling in. Oof. Pressure rockets are what we need for pressure to continue. Oxygen for heat. We could use some heat rockets. Biodome tier 2. That's still a ways away. Algae is a ways away. So at this stage of the game, there's one of two things you can do. One is you can grind up rocket parts and just keep launching rockets like crazy. The other option is to build the infrastructure, which is like more heaters, more drills, more whatever. Um, heaters, we are kind of at a weird spot because we only have two iridium rods and I have no drills or easy access to iridium. I also don't have the osmium to throw down more drills currently. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab a food, a water, and we are going to head out to kind of out by super and hit the cave out there and see if we can get some osmium. The other option would be to go towards the um, the white desert. That's the other place to go to get some right now. I'm going to buy Planetcraft on the 5th. Oh, it is. I have... Forge for Dalek. Forge for Dalek mod? What is that? Is that a... Um, is that a mod that you install with it when you play? Or is that one that is in it that I should look up? I'm not sure what that is. Forge for Dalek mod. Is that one that you add that you have uh, installed extra? Is that what you mean? But yeah, the uh, that's exciting, though, that you're going to buy Planet Crafter on the 5th. That's exciting. It's a good game. It's a good game. I've got probably 10 playthroughs that I've done in this game. About five of them are on YouTube, four or five of them, five or six of them are on YouTube. But I just barely got back like this year, got back into like streaming and recording and stuff, partly because I like to watch my own stuff. So I would record my own stuff and then I would put my playlists on and watch them later. Titanium, titanium. I downloaded so I could fly a TARDIS. Doctor Who made for Dr. Mario. Oh, interesting. That's interesting. I have not done that myself. Oh, iron. I'm getting ready to turn into an Android fairly soon in um, in Sky Factory 4. I'm about to turn into an Android. The one thing I'm missing is I need to build the twilight forest cake i need to build the twilight forest cake and then i need to um i need to go get some lithium dust some lithium so i can get lithium dust i think once i get lithium you have forge 112 i see yeah once i once i get the um lithium dust i can turn into an android and then start buying upgrades and 
applying parts. One of the cool things about uh, the, the matter overdrive, which is what that's from, is that it lets you... Um, my farm is farming up android parts, and then I can equip those android parts when I turn into an android later, which is cool. Let's do this. Let's bring this here. You know what? You know, let's just keep it. I need all the sulfur and osmium at this stage because I need more explosive powder for more tier two um, power. Oh, interesting. Oh, and that's open to sweet. All right, well, let's get this bottom side and then we'll fly up there. Love it. Yeah. It's a very good game. I love Sky Factory 4 and I love uh, Planet Crafter. They're both very good. I like games that allow you to progress at your own speed. Like you can play like I knew. So, for example, um, when I play games like, say, um, Stardew Valley, I am extremely efficient in my money making. So like by year. By the end of like year two or three, I'm making like millions of dollars in crops and honey and and meat and other stuff every single season. So like I'll be making like I think by year four, I'm usually worth about 10 mil in, in that game. And uh, I was listening to another content creator play and she was talking about how she's on like year seven and she's only made like 500K on like year seven. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, hey, you've done what and what? And it, it goes back to that whole you can you can be fast, you can be slow. There's no there's no thing that like forces you to play a certain way. Like you can really play games the way you want to, which is cool. That's one of the things I like about games is being able to play at your own pace, you know? And this is a very good example, this game is, of that. Let's keep the iron. Have here, let's let's just do that and bring those two back. Okay. But yeah, primarily right now what I'm doing is I'm grinding up some resources. I'm trying to get ahead on certain pieces that usually slow me down later. I usually run out of like eggplants and mushrooms late game, mid to late game. And I'm approaching that spot right now, but I'm, I'm kind of bottlenecked on certain resources. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gathering up a couple resources so that I can upgrade, upgrade and produce certain objects or items pretty soon. The hard part for me is like, we're really far away because, because we chose the ring as our starting zone. That puts us really far away from like Iridium and other like Iridium and Super are really far away from us. Squash. Squash is not as pressing as the other two. No. I was about to say, I haven't grabbed that that gold uh, chest under there yet. Yeah, uh, Squash is not as pressing. Cre uh, by, by the time I need Squash, usually I'm up to the Tier 2 growers, or I'm already up to the grow beds at that point. Uh, a big one that I do usually run low on is the the bees. I don't I don't start honey soon enough. Just insects. Insects is hard. It's um, well, it depends. It depends. Part of part of this is that if you uh, put progression really really heavy into certain items, you can kind of bypass other ones. Like I generally don't do fish almost at all in this game. I almost never do fish because I can usually just bypass it. I can do insects and then I can get up to frogs. I can usually do frogs and just skip the fish altogether. Like I can usually do fish straight in or uh, frogs straight into mammals and never do the fish. It's not nearly as important. There's also certain uh, nets that ca that catch you there. For example, uh, oxygen, the water life collector is what you need for fish. And that one is the very, very, very end of oxygen and oxygen. Uh, you don't get the oxygen rocket for a while. I think seed spreader is oxygen or. Yeah, I think it's that one. The seed spreader is oxygen. So if you don't prioritize that one very early, then you basically just don't progress in that field. So it's like if you don't prioritize hitting extra oxygen super early, then you're just stuck. 
Yeah, and so I usually end up just skipping the one because I don't have the resources for it. All right, we have enough here for five. So let's throw down five. More iron, more. Oh, just grab all the water. Cool. This is going to let me get five more eggplants. Too bad the food growers don't give any, like, stats for it. The food growers don't give you any any progression. Come on. There we go. Which is too bad. Most things will give you at least a little bit of something. Like, even your extractors give you heat and pressure, right? You get heat and, and pressure just for having the extractors. It's not much, but it's at least some. But, like, food growers don't give you anything. Okay, I need more water from the water collectors. Yep, give me all that. Give me all that. Two. Food grower tier two. Um, that one does not either, as far as I can remember. It's a little ways away to food two. If I remember right, it's locked behind plants or insects. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. It's just in the regular biomass. But we don't have good plants yet. Oh, tier two algae is just unlocked. And that gives us 18 plants. This one gives us seven plants. This one gives us 18. It takes two bioplastic per. Remember those mushrooms I was talking about? And then I need two water and two silicon. And then that's two more bioplastic. And then I have one leftover mushroom. And then are any of you grown? Oh. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to try and keep up on these as best I can. Okay, so we got the bioplastic. I need the algae. I need a fertilizer. I don't have a fertilizer. And if I remember right, I kind of got screwed here. Yeah, I got screwed. Um, uh, yeah, I got screwed. Hang on. I'm actually going to come tear up my one of my growers over here because I got screwed. I only have one. Oh, I could have put a thingy in that. Ah, dumb, silly, stupid. Okay. What do I need for you? I have everything. Okay. Yeah, a tier two biodome or a tier, a tier two biodome. Gosh dang it. A tier two algae generator is more important than a flower spreader for me. It's also it's also twice as good for almost the exact. Oh, it's actually less. A tier two algae grower gives you the exact same stats, base stats of that without having a. Um, the tier two algae generator gives you the exact same base stats as a flower spreader or, or better than except for the flower spreader. You can put the seeds in to give better oxygen. The part that I got screwed on right now that I was talking about is it takes three algae per fertilizer and that tier one only gave me one or only gave me two. So I'm one short. I need another fertilizer and I don't have any. Okay, so we're going to come over here to crops. We're going to dump you guys. We're actually going to dump that in there too because we're getting a, a lovely collection going there. Water, dump you. Magnesium, dump you. Yeah, we got screwed by one, but it's fine. It's not a huge deal. It's annoying, but it's like whatever. The tier two algae growers are actually quite good, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, we need obsidian at some point. Super rods. We don't have super rods access yet. When do we unlock super rods? Oh dear, are they not for a super long time? No. Do we already have super rods? Oh no. Oh no, they're still a ways away, but they're not like... Yeah, 750 MTI. Okay. Okay, so in the meantime, like I was saying, we got to figure out the tier two biodome takes fertilizer. Yep, takes two and bacteria samples. We need algae generators, algae generators. We need the mushrooms and the algae. Yeah, see, so we're kind of we're kind of stuck on a double bottleneck where 
the things need themselves to create themselves kind of a thing. And so we need this to grow for a bit. Yeah, there we go. Nice big crop. Look at that. Look at how many are growing. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, we're definitely going to need that. Also, do I have an iron? Yeah, let's throw down just a... There we go. Just a little something. Okay. Um, I need a water. So, I just did a big um, journey... And I grabbed a bunch of aluminum. I grabbed a bunch of osmium and sulfur. These guys... Oh, that's right. We don't have iridium. We wanted to look at drill production. Okay, tier ones. We won't have the super rods for a while. How much do you take? Oh, it's only 34 energy? That's not bad at all. Oh, gosh. I can make like four. I need two super, two iridium, four osmium, um, dose titanium, and dose aluminum. Cool. All right, we are going to travel. We need to go over to the iridium cave. Um, realistically, hang on. I need to start bringing resources and throwing down the... Um, beacons as i go as well titanium and was it silicon is that what it wants something like that and then i also need to gather the resources for a building as well so i can put that in the iridium location as well i i need to cover my land with all of the beacons so i can tell where everything is because we're getting to that point where like we're going to be doing a lot of traveling and i need to know the best way to get to places and since my base is covered by this mountain range, it's kind of obnoxious to get there initially. I could snag some more aluminum for a couple of beacons while I'm out here. Let's do that. Let's grab... Whoa, so I slapped my mic. Yeah, I'm going to grab a, a bunch of resources here for that as well. Titanium. We need titanium. I don't need magnesium for what I'm doing. I need the titanium, though. I need one silicon. At least one silicon. Okay. What you got? Three. Okay, that'll give me three. So let's grab the silicon, the iron. What am I missing? I need at least two more silicon. Is that right? One or two more? Okay. Yeah, because I want to get my beacons up for literally everything. Oh, in fact, literally everything. Let's start with let's start with aluminum. Beacon. Right there. Ooh. And then we want this to be aluminum. Aluminum. Change color to kind of a kind of a gray. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I need to have those anyway, just because I need to be able to see where I'm going. Makes the game easier when you have beacons everywhere because then you can just point at what you're trying to get to and just fly straight to it so you're not wasting time. I see an aluminum. Ooh, more aluminum. Oh, baby. <laughs> Blinding myself on the dust. Love it. Alrighty. But yeah, I do want to get these all plugged in so we know where we're going. And then I have enough for two tier one extractors in the iridium cave as well. Which we desperately need because we have no iridium at home. We have the two rods that we're about to use right now and that is it. How we're doing? Oxygen's getting a little low. That's fine. I brought the resources with me to build a building while we're at it. We're going to throw our building down right here like that. And we're going to throw down a beacon like that. Whoa, stop. We're going to go iridium. Change our color to kind of a medium reddish color. And then two of you. And then, yeah, I needed more 
Ooh, hello. I need some silicon, and then I need to bring home all the iridium.